What's going guys, Zenos here and today I'm bringing this video as a guide on Dark Caesar, leader of the Undertakers. If you have been so lucky to pull this unit, then congratulations guys and this guide will really help you guys. I hope, I hope, I hope, okay? So his HP stat and defense stats are pretty amazing guys, just like the any other uh, Dark 5 star net tank last servant okay it's pretty much a copy paste guys copy paste okay uh, even the attack stat and the speed stat oh my god <laughs> that's a copy paste guys so lazy okay so let's start with this skill description first skill okay undying shield okay pretty much a copy paste taunts the enemy for 20 seconds nothing special right out there uh second skill is known as the eternal rest Increases the cost of defense for 60 seconds by level 5 pretty much copy paste guys and the combo skill is known as the lost holy war okay Grants immunity to all allies for 15 seconds just like Simon. Fire Simon. Okay, that is amazing. Now, that is a huge plus point. Gradually heals Caster's HP for 15 seconds by level 3, which is pretty, very weak. But provided that he has a very large pool of HP, this can actually be pretty good. Okay, and it just says level 3 right now. But if you actually skill it up, obviously it's gonna go level 5 in no time. That is a given. Okay, so multi hit, 3 hit skill. Okay, so that is how it is. Now, let's move on to the passive skill, okay? Reduces defense ignoring attack damage by 70%, which is very technical, all right? But becomes weak to the speed-based attacks, so he has a weakness as well. So, speed-based attack servants like, let's say, Fire Lucian, Water Blavatsky, those are the type of servants who are gonna smash his head to the grave, okay? But, against the death ignoring attack uh, damage like servants, which are like, let's say, Charlotte, Jita, okay? Those are the ones which he is gonna block them very efficiently guys so he's a very technical type it's, this is not sort of like um, you know like a type of thing that you can be uh, using like every sections of the game or every every part of the game okay so it's pretty much technical very unique okay so okay okay type anyways uh, next thing is activated upon the first awakening if an ally a Lucian is present as we increases by 100% that is pretty amazing guys Fire A Lucian is a pretty good healer, okay? So you can have her in your team and you will be able to get that 100% HP boost. Amazing, guys. If an ally healer is present, HP increases by 70%. Let's say you don't have A Lucian in your team, then damn, you need to have at least one healer, guys, to get at least 70%, okay, of the HP boost. Now let's move on to the team passive. Is it really good? HP of all element allies increases by 57% at PvP. What a useless thing. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I have been saying it as a very useless thing, but guys, if you have any way to say that, like, you know, like, this could be actually useful, please let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to know about it, guys. Anyways, uh, to rate it overall, I would rate him, like, about 8.5 over 10, okay? He is good. He's really, really good, okay? Especially with his combo skill, uh, providing the, you know, like, immunity for all allies for 15 seconds is pretty amazing, guys. That's what I really like. But the first skill and second skill is so pathetic with that same thing, you know, going on. <laughs> it's pretty much a copy paste. Uh, passive skill is pretty much uh, in a conditional. It doesn't really apply like everywhere. Oh well, he's getting 8.5 over 10 just because he is a light and dark unit as well. Obviously, as a dark unit, he will be getting so many uh, stats buff up, okay? Uh, the problem with the FWF is that like either they will be HP specialist or the defense specialist But for the light and dark they are both guys They are very good at HP as well as the defense So that is the case why they really actually get you know high scores most of the time, okay? Anyways now let's move on to what sort of gears can we provide to this amazing unit, okay? Uh, so as a tank Iron and the life gear set are the primary gears, okay? You can go with the resistance gears as well. Higher resist will also make a tank really stronger, okay? So, uh, when it comes to the weapons, shirt and pants, prime stats, flat stats, no need to worry about that one, guys. But when it comes to the sub stats or additional stats, guys, now at that point, you need to focus on HP percentage boost, defense percentage boost, speed boost, and resist percentage boost, guys. These are the four stats that you really need to work on, guys. And uh, with the glove and the necklace, you can go with the speed stat boost as the primary stat. But for gloves, you can go with the defense percentage boost or HP percentage boost as well, okay? 
So, same thing applies for like helmet, shoes, and the ring. Whereas in the ring and the shoes, you can go with the resist percentage boost as well to provide some extra resist to this amazing unit as well. Okay, so for the gloves, defense percentage boost, HP percentage boost, or speed boost depending upon the situation. And in the helmet, go with the HP percentage boost or defense percentage boost. Uh, in uh, shoes, go with the defense percentage boost or HP percentage boost or resist percentage boost. And with the ring as well, the same thing, guys. Defense percentage boost, HP percentage boost, and the resist percentage boost. Okay, whatever it really seems fit to you. I recommend you guys to bring all them together in a balanced way. That is the key to get a very good and dedicated tank. Servant, all right. So, this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel. See you guys in the next video.